All right, I thought I'd show people where I'm at at over at over 5,000 hours of playtime. I think it's closer to about 6,000 because there was a time I played War Thunder where it was just the application of War Thunder and not through Steam. So I think it's closer to about six or even 6,500 or even 7,000 hours, but we'll say over 5,000 hours, whatever. And this is where I'm at. I basically play 99% tanks. And this is where I'm at with in terms of research, top tier and all that. I mean, that was an event vehicle. Another thing is I play basically solely, um, I play all nations. So uh, there's, no, uh, there's no one nation I play. I probably have the most hours in German, but it's pretty close with everything to be honest. I, I was trying to unlock all of them, but they're basically releasing more tanks or vehicles faster than I can research, which is crazy. But, I mean, I'm getting close to having all of them done here. I have about 10 to 15 tanks in every nation left to research, especially top tier. Honestly, the main reason I'm doing this is to show you how absurd this game is and how they need to, like give you 50 times more research points when you get them or else reduce the amount that each vehicle costs by like 50 times maybe not quite 50 times but something ridiculous because think about it any game you know of that's like the longest game to complete is like a thousand hours and those games are like oh man this game is so long you have to just do so many times to complete it and you just you know, a thousand hours and you get this done this game beat I get it, you don't want to necessarily beat War Thunder, but to be nowhere near completing uh, all ground vehicles at about 2,000 hours is ridiculous. And the fact that I'm at over 5,000, well over 5,000 hours, it's even more absurd and asinine. It's ridiculous. It's... I get it, they want to make it difficult, but it makes no sense. They need to upgrade the amount of RP you get by 50 times. I should be able to put in, what is that? Would that be like, mm, uh, basically what I'm saying is, after about 200 hours or so, you should have most of the vehicles researched. And even then, that sounds like a lot. I, I was also up to about 130 million, but I... I spent what 60 80 million or so on those loot boxes I basically got hosed or I got like 10 vehicles but they're all like weird shit and then I got the VFW which is the only decent one and I'm not doing a super good job of showing you where I'm at but see how I'm pretty close in Japan China's I don't play China that much I play Great Britain very little. I'll go back and show you that a little bit slower. I'm doing a little bit more, but yeah. I, another reason I don't play Great Britain a lot is the solid shot is a bit ridiculous. I, literally every tank has solid shot. They have good pen, but dude, I, the teams I get on Great Britain are basically German German esque. They're terrible. They're they're god awful players on my team whenever I play Great Britain. And it's just the thing. But yeah, there's Italy. I actually like Italy quite a bit. And it seems like it's a pretty underrated nation. But eh, see how I'm pretty close. That's a repair. Not uh And then France. France has the worst uh, rank 1 vehicles in the game. These are all dog shit vehicles. And look, I got that from the chests too. Literally the worst tank you could possibly get from chests. Or the toolboxes, whatever you want to call them. But yeah. That was fucking awesome. But yeah, I'm actually pretty close with France too. And then here is Sweden. Sweden is really good. I, I've trying to been focusing on them a little bit more because their top tier tanks are so good supposedly. Plus they have just good tanks. They have wonky tanks, but they just have really, really good tanks too. Sweden's a very good nation. I'm not sure I'd recommend it as a starter nation. That would either be one of the top three, like 
USA, Germany, or USSR. And then I'm not very close with Israel. I basically am waiting until I get the 8.0 lineup all the way done, and then I'm going to start playing that. But that's what I do is I get like at least two or three tanks for a lineup, and then I play it. But sometimes I get the full lineup. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Oh, and then one more side note. Look at my, if you have been paying attention, but do you see how my crew is level 45 and the max level is 150 for ground forces? Again, I'm at well over 5,000 hours and I'm not even close. It's ridiculous. So I, do I get it that you can play Air Arcade and they give you more bonuses for um, um, crew EXP? And then the fact that I have basically all slots low, uh, unlocked on pretty much all nations. So that obviously kind of uh, spreads out my research and that it takes longer. But still, dude, 5,000 hours and my highest level I think is level 45. You see anywhere? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Level 45 out of 150 at well over... 5,000 hours of game time. It's ridiculous, and they need to, that needs to be upgraded, or they need to give you about 50 times more EXP for crew EXP as well. It's ridiculous. But yeah, just wanted to give an update. Hopefully, I went slow enough on some of those nations where you could kind of see things. I probably should have done it a little bit slower, but I got stuck on tangents. But yeah, it's ridiculous. They definitely need to boost RP and EXP gains by a significant amount. Now, like, not, and the European Canadian keeps on going on like, oh, you did see me give you a 10% boost. 10% boosts are useless. That's ridiculous. You need a 50% boost or reduction. Even then, that maybe not even, you need at least a 50%. And even then, that's pretty low. So. I should have every single tank or 99% uh, ground forces researched at 2,000 hours at the absolute most. So whatever that needs to be in terms of RP gain or RP reduction, it, um, what I'm saying is the reduction of the how much it is to research a vehicle. Either that needs to be significantly lowered by like 500% or... They need to increase the amount of research points you accrue or earn in games by about 500%. And again, that's, those are loose numbers, but it needs to be something significant because I play this game a lot and I'm not even close. And so anybody that plays it uh, just casually or just every now and then, they're going to have nowhere. They're going to be at like rank three and they're going to have like four vehicles in each or less. But yeah. Just want to give you an update and express my displeasure slash concerns about the ridiculous requirements for this bullshit RP and crew EXP setup.